Hi hey guys, it's your girl Nosh. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Hope everyone's enjoying their summer. Uh, this message is about letting you guys know that Neptune went retrograde. I believe it was July 2nd, July 3rd. Uh, right before 4th of July, just a couple days before that, Neptune went retrograde. And you're going to be like, Nosh, what does it mean when Neptune goes retrograde? And I'm going to say to you guys, <laughs> it means Neptune is going backwards around the sun. Neptune is a planet that fuels your delusions. Neptune is a planet that helps you be imaginative, be creative. Sometimes a little too much in your life where you think something is good when it really isn't. It, it's basically the planet of fantasy. The, the planet that helps you romanticize things. Um, ask a Pisces. <laughs> Neptune is, um, Pisces is ruled by Neptune. So the owner of Neptune is, or the ruler of Pisces is Neptune. So what does Neptune do? when you have Neptune in your placement, it, in your, in your chart, basically, like, say, like, uh, you're a Pisces sun, um, you tend to romanticize, and romanticize a lot of things in your life, like, you don't, you'll look at someone's red flags, and be like, oh, but it's just so romantic, like, this person is really obsessive, like, toxically obsessive Pisces, and Pisces will be like, if you're a Pisces, <laughs> forgive me, but we're talking about Neptune, if you're a Pisces, um, you have a tendency to believe that um, anything toxic is cute, basically. You put it on a pedestal. Like, if someone treats you a certain way, you don't want to see um, the truth behind it. You kind of look at it like, oh, they're just doing that because they love me. Um, th th this, this, this illusion is about to be cracked right now, and the only way I can say it is, if you've been wearing rose-colored glasses about certain situations, your glasses are about to come off. Um, yeah, so if you've been in a relationship where you think that that person is, is, you know, if you've been in a relationship and the person is controlling, the person is toxic and you've been thinking that is really cute and how sweet it is, how they're obsessed with you and how they watch you all the time and how they message you all the time and how they ask you where you're going, what you're doing, this, this, and that, this is a time period where you're going to wake up and realize, damn, that person is toxic. That's a major red flag. So basically, Neptune <laughs> it makes you think that the red flags are pink flags, are really cute coral and pink flags. When Neptune goes retrograde, you realize that those pink and coral flags that had you colorblinded, or at some point colorblinded, are really red flags. Meaning, Neptune going retrograde is going to help you get the ick where you really wanted to get. So from now until, I believe... Um, I, I forgot what it is, December? I think it's up to December. I may be wrong. Uh, December 4th or something like that. I will double check and I will leave it in the comments if I am wrong. But if I don't, then it is what it is. What I'm basically trying to say is Neptune going retrograde is going to help you wake up and realize that the things that you have in your life, that you've been imagining them to be the best thing for you, or you've been thinking they're the best thing for you, or you've been romanticizing a certain situation, you're going to finally wake up and realize that this situation is not for you. So if you're around certain people and the way these people have been treating you and you've been just pushing it under the carpet or, or kind of like, you know, hiding it under the carpet or hiding it behind a curtain or just not touching that subject because you're like, oh no, they're just like that because they care about me too much. You're going to wake up and realize that no, they really don't care about you and this is how they really feel. Like that person that you thought was in love with you is really in lust with you and you're going to get the ick from it. I love this because what they, one thing that really irritates me is people who cannot own up to their own feelings. So if someone's been gaslighting you, right? I'm going to say it again. If someone's been gaslighting you, you're really going to see through it. If someone has been controlling you and you're thinking they're doing it for your, your, oh, like, you know, you know, you know, when people control you or try, try to like control every movement that you make or control your life and you think, especially, especially for, for people out there who are in relationships, um, you're when you thought it was endearing you know them controlling you and them doing this doing that and you're looking at you're looking at it as like oh they're looking out for me this is the time period where you're gonna wake up and be like well damn this person just wants to control everything i do you know if you have a if you have parents 
that keep telling you, oh, we're only doing this for your own good. We're only doing this for your own good. This is a time period where you're going to wake up and realize, no, they've been doing it for their own good. You know, you work at a place where the boss is like, oh, I'm only just doing this for you. You know, I'm, I'm giving you these extra hours for you. I'm giving you this work, these files, these tasks for you to become a better person. No, you're going to realize this, that, that your boss is doing it for them. Okay. So this is very interesting. And this summer is going to be very interesting going into winter where people are going to speak to you and you're going to get the ick from them. And you're going to be like, wait a minute, I never got the ick from these people before. Why am I getting the ick now? Why? Because your eyes are open. So if you really, you really thought that, you know, at one point in time, a few years ago, you thought that a person hated you and then you're like, no, they don't hate me. Maybe it's me. This is a time period where you're going to wake up and realize, no, this person really does hate me. You know, they're going to, people are going to say something. Energy is going to speak so loudly where you're going to be able to push past the illusion, look past the illusion, and you're going to see it. Pisces in the tarot deck is the moon card, right? The moon card is the Pisces. It, it represents Pisces. And what is the moon about? Illusion, right? Illusion, delusion. Um, it's about how you can only see under the moonlight. Like you could, like it, basically the, the moon card talks about when you pull the moon card, if you're asking about a situation and you pull the moon card, the moon card is basically going to tell you not enough information. Okay. Something is secret. Something is, something is hidden. Something is not being seen because again, the moon card is basically this example. There's a street and you, and there are only street lamps on the street and you could only see up until what the street lamp is showing you. Meaning you can't see past the street lamp. It's dark as fuck. Okay, like you're standing under the lamp. You know when you're standing under a lamp and you can see what's around you, but if you look down the street, and if that's the only lamp on the street, you really can't see what's down the street, right? It's like as you're walking and the light, you know, and the, and, and the lamp lights up, that's only what you can see. Meaning you can only see as much as the light is showing you. Where there is no light, you can't see there. That's what Neptune is all about. That's what Pisces is all about. And Pisces Pisces and Neptune, I'm telling you, it's it's crazy because oh, there's a lot of times where people come to me and they ask me questions when I'm doing tarot and I do pull the moon card and I have to say to them, Well, I don't we don't have I don't have enough information or you don't have enough enough information to make a decision right now. Like if you're if you're asking, Oh, should I change your job? Right. And I pull the moon card or you pull the moon card. If you do tarot, um, that is basically telling you there's not enough information at the moment in order for you to make the decision. And plus, even in, even in the tarot deck, the, the, the moon card is um, a dog, a black and white dog. You know, both of them are staring at the moon. Um, whatever deck you get, it, the, the moon card is always about the moon. And what is the moon about? The moon is about not being able to see too much where in the sense where if the moon is up like another example i'll give you you're in the forest right you're in a forest it's dark out obviously the forest has no lights you could only see by the light of the moon so you can't see much right you can only see the path of the moonlight so if you're standing under the moonlight that's all you're going to be able to see so when you're in a situation you're not going to be able to see what's going on outside of the situation because you're inside of the situation. So outside, you can't see. You can only see inside. But then later on, when you walk out of the situation, you're able to look back and you know look into the situation and see, oh, okay, so that's what was going on. That is what's going to happen, you guys, okay? All right, my friends, you're going to wake up and you're going to finally realize that what you've been seeing is really not what it looks like. So hence me going back to saying, it really irritates me when people cannot own up to their feelings. When you know someone hates you, when when you pull cards, right, right? You know, you sit in your room sometimes and you pull cards. You don't, don't deny it. Like, does this person like me? Does this person hate me? You know, when you get that card, like say you get a card, you ask a question, does this person hate me? And you get the king of pentacles. This basically means that this person does hate you and the hate is rooted. Like it's deep. It goes deep into their foundation. And then you confront the person and say, you know what? Why don't you just admit that, admit that you hate me? And the person will say to you, no, I don't hate you. I, I never thought that way about you. That's what we call gaslighting. So you're going to realize how much you've been gaslighted. And if you don't know what gaslighting means, gaslighting means someone 
knowing that you're being that you know the truth and they're still denying the truth meaning that like you say to someone hey i know you put the, the 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 empty milk carton back into the fridge right and the person's like no i didn't i didn't do that i don't know what you're going through i don't know what your problem is and you're starting with me early in the morning but i didn't do that and then you go and you show them, like say you have, some people have cameras in their house or cameras in their office, and you go and show them the camera. And in the camera, that person is putting the empty milk carton back into the, to the refrigerator. And you're like, well, then that's not you. That's not you, right? And the person's like, uh, that's what's going on. You are going to pick up on the gaslighting. You are going to realize that you've been gaslighted. And a lot of it's going to come from your parents, your siblings, your work job, you know, your work. Um, your co-workers and even some some of your spouses even some of your kids where they've been telling you Noah I didn't I didn't put the dirty laundry there and you're like sweetheart I was watching you and you did put the dirty laundry in the corner and they're like oh okay people are gonna be shocked that they're being caught so the best thing is just don't gaslight if you feel a certain way just own up to your feelings and that's what this Neptune in right this uh, retrograde is doing Neptune retrograde is doing it is bringing to light the things that you need to see it is bringing to light the things that no longer serve you so if you've been sitting there praying for god to remove things that no longer serve you this is when it's going to happen where you're going to realize wait a minute all these years i thought this person was my friend and then you're going to find out that this person has been talking mad shit about you this person has been going around spreading gossip about you but in your face they're your best friend like oh but you know what i wasn't talking to sally sally was talking to you and then you go to talk to sally you know you kind of run into sally at at, at at you know like at walmart or something and sally's like yeah your friend was talking mad shit about you and you're like wait a minute but that person said that it was you and then sally goes no that person started it and now you go and confront the person the person person's gonna be like still gonna say still gonna stick to their lie like no i didn't say that about you that's what's going to help you realize that this person no longer needs to be in your life. Okay? So in any situation of your life that you're going through right now, be grateful because you are about to get the, the, the blanket lifted off of it, the veil lifted off of it. Because a lot of people, I have to, I have to explain something to you. I'm not a pessimist. I'm not a, a cynic. Okay? But I'm really just honest. I'm just real and I, and I call out things how I see them. Why? Because I'm a seer. I'm a natural born seer. Now you're going to be like, no, Sheen, what's a seer? A seer is someone who can see into the dark. The darkest parts of people, the darkest parts of situation, the darkest part, the darkest parts, part of anything, a seer can see into it. And what makes me a seer? I'm a Sagittarius. I got a Sagittarius stellium. Okay. My Neptune is in Sagittarius. My Uranus is in Sagittarius. You know, so these are the reasons why I'm a seer. And if you have any Sagittarius placement, Sagittarius moon, Sagittarius rising, you know, Sag Uranus and Sagittarius, Neptune and Sagittarius, Saturn and Sagittarius, you are a seer. You can see things that other people cannot see or other people uh, choose not to see. You observe these things and it's very easy for you to pick up on that. Seers are also people who can see into places that you can't. Seers can see into the past, the future, and the present moment. So that's with that being said you are going to get the ability of becoming a seer while neptune goes retrograde if you've never been a seer you've never had the ability of a seer just for a little bit while neptune is going retrograde till december you're going to have the ability to see to be a seer you're going to see into the dark you're going to see into people that you thought were for you you're going to realize that they really weren't for you like that co-worker that you thought was on your side that says to you oh but i told the boss to give you more hours I, like i don't know why this would happen why why your hours got cut i told the boss that you needed hours you know th this is the time period where you're gonna where, where that person's gonna mess up they're gonna really fuck up royally and say to you oh well i thought you needed though you needed less hours because you needed to get home early and you're like when the fuck did i say that so that's why my hours got cut because you told the boss i needed to get home early people are going to tell on themselves Okay, if I were you, I would just confront them. Like, I'll give you an example. Again, going back to the hate thing. If you know someone hates you, you pulled cards and you found out someone hates you. 
And now you tell this person, you know what? I don't know why you hate me, but I forgive you. And, and it is what it is. And I no longer want you in my life. This person is going to try to backtrack and be like, oh, but I never hated you. Oh, I never felt this way with you. And of all people, you shouldn't think this of me. And that They're going to backtrack so bad. Neptune in retrograde is not going to let you fold. This Neptune in retrograde is very important. It's not going to let you fold. It's going to help you break the cycle of believing the bullshit that people have been selling to you. You're going to stop buying it. Okay? You're going to realize that it was just an illusion in your mind that you thought this person actually cared for you when they really didn't. Because the Neptune in retrograde is going to help you realize that. And how is that going to happen? They're going to tell on themselves. Universe is going to find a way for these people to tell on themselves. And why is universe doing that? Because the universe is tired of you believing people's lies. The universe is tired of you giving money to that, to that, to that cousin or that sibling that keeps lying to you about not having money. And then you're going to realize that when you give them money, they're going out at, at night and blowing it on liquor or blowing it on someone else and blah, blah, blah. You're working so hard to help someone out and they're not doing anything. You're, and they're gonna they're gonna tell on themselves. The universe is gonna basically call these people out, and they're gonna show it to you. Okay. So when you see something, believe it for what it is. When some, well, you know how we always tell you when someone shows you who they really are, don't ignore it. Believe it for what it is. Okay. So these people that have been telling you, I love you, I'm there for you, I care for you. You know, I, I trust you. This is a time period where you're going to see these people fold under their words. They're going to do something either under pressure, under circumstances, being backed into a corner, and you're really going to see who they really are. And what I'm getting in my head is you're going to see the true colors. Like, you know that song, I see your true colors. Uh-huh. You're really going to start seeing everybody's true colors. You're going to start getting the ick. The universe is naturally going to create this ick inside of you and you're not going to want to have shit to do with these people anymore and good for you because these were the people that are holding you back so so think about it you know how i always talk to you about how there's past life enemies in your in your your present lifetime that followed you into this lifetime to stop you from getting to your soul purpose from stopping you from getting to your soul destiny this is the time period applause right now applause this is the time period where you're going to be able to pick those people out and get them out of your life so they no longer hinder you from getting to your goal got it so people when you see something right do not pass it off as oh i, I don't i that's not really what happened because you've been living too long in that attitude like I said, when people show you who they really are, best believe that's what they are. Neptune's gone retrograde several times before. This is not something that happens in a blue moon. It, this, is, this is scheduled. This happens. Whenever you get to a point in a cycle of your life where you need to excel forward, Neptune will go in retrograde to show you now to who do you need to pick off, right? Who do you need to pick to be on your team and who do you need to kick off your team? A lot of you who own your own businesses, you're going to be firing people because you're going to realize that the employee that you hired is really lazy and they only work when you come around. A lot of you are going to notice that your spouses only start cooking dinner when it's 30 minutes left for you to come home. All day long, they've been lazy sitting on the fucking couch, not doing shit. But now they know that you're on your way home. Guess what? They're cleaning. They're doing this. They're doing that. So it's when you walk in through the door, it looks like they've been cleaning all day. So there's nothing you can get mad at them for. This is what Neptune is going to show that you like, for instance, like you have a spouse that that tell that whenever you walk, come home there, you see them in the kitchen looking like Martha Stewart cooking and doing this and doing that. You know what? Something's going to happen this summer where you're going to get home early, two or three hours early. And you're going to walk in on this spouse, either cheating on you. I'm being really serious about this, either cheating on you, spending your money somewhere they're not supposed to or sitting on the couch eating potato chips all day when they tell you they're on a diet and they don't do this anymore and that they don't watch trash TV. You're going to walk in and you're going to see this. You're going to be like, honey, I thought you said you don't do this. And they're just going to be like a deer caught in headlights like, uh, 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 or your kids where, where your kid is, is telling you, no, I'm going to bed early every night. And you're like, okay, my kid goes to bed early night. One night you're just going to wake up and have this intuition. Like, let me check on my, my little kid over here. Right. You're going to go and you're going to check on your little kid. Um, when I say little kid, you know what I'm talking about. 
you're going to go check on your kid and your kid is going to be up on their iPad and you're going to find out that this is what this person has really been doing. This is what your little kid's been really been doing. They've been lying to you about going to sleep, right? Going to sleep because you've been thinking in the morning while you're serving them breakfast, why are you so tired, little Emily? Or why are you so tired, little Rachel? I thought you went to bed at 8 o'clock. Oh, I don't know. You know why you don't know? Because you've been on that, that, that tablet all fucking night. And how'd you get caught? Mama walked in on you. Daddy walked in on you. When you told everybody you were going to sleep, you were up. Okay? And same things goes and same thing goes for you, listener. If you're doing something you're not supposed to or you're hiding something, best be prepared for it to come out in the light this summer. Because it will. That's why we tell you, don't do things that number one, you're shameful of. Number two, that you're gonna regret later. And number three, something that you have to hide. If you're doing something, right, there's no reason for you to hide it. Live in what you're doing and own up to what you're doing. It's called accountability. Like, for instance, if you're in a relationship with a guy that in the beginning of the first couple of months, he was whining and dining you, and now he's just not doing it anymore, right? You're going to be like, you're not being consistent. Way before this time period, you were like, okay, you know, maybe they're tired from work. Maybe they're this, maybe they're that. This time you're going to really realize this summer that no, this person really, really doesn't give two fucks about you and they're just lazy as fuck and they're inconsistent. And if you're a person like me who loves consistency, you're going to get the ick and you're not going to want to have to do any, you're not going to want to have anything to do with this person. Another thing that's going to come to light, if people, is, people are doing things behind your back, gossiping, talking about you, throwing magic at you, whatever the case is, you're either going to dream about them doing something, you're either going to hear it from someone else. Or like I said, you're going to walk into the action of what they're doing against you. And you're going to separate yourself from them. This, like I said, the only reason, the only reason this is happening is for you to wake up and remove these people out of your life because these people no longer serve you. They're not going to help you get to where you need to go. Because this isn't, where you are right now is not where you're staying. You need to move forward. You need to propel forward. And this is going to be the exact thing that's going to help you pivot yourself in the direction that you need to be going, right? So if you are working somewhere thinking that you're loved by the boss and this, this, and that, and then you realize that your friend Timmy over there got a raise and got a raise every single year, but yet you've been getting raises every three to two to three years, you're going to confront your boss and your boss is going to be like, oh, it's not like that. And you're going to be like, well, how come you've been giving me raises every two to three years and I show up every day? I don't ever call out. I do what I'm supposed to. But Timmy here takes vacations to the Bahamas every other month. But yet he's getting a raise. You know, you're going to find out that Timmy is actually related to your boss. That's why Timmy gets the fucking royal carpet treatment or the red carpet treatment. And you're going to be like, you know what? This is it. I'm done. I don't want to be here anymore. You're going to find another job. And when you find another job, you're going to realize that's the job you really needed to be at. You were more called to be there than where you were. So a lot of things are going to get interrupted at this point, but interrupted for a very good reason. The interruption is happening because universe, God does not want you where you are. So the next argument you have or the next fight you have with someone or the next disagreement you have with someone, it's only happening to show you that this party that you're disagreeing with, the party that you're arguing with is no longer needed to be in your life. So you're going to move forward from that and it's going to help you because a lot of times the problem is you guys are too big hearted. You guys have too much love for people. Oh, you care too much that you put yourself in the back seat. This is the time where it's calling you to be put in the driver's seat and for you to drive. Get whoever it is that's been driving your life this whole time to get the fuck out of the car, to get the fuck out of the driver's seat and for you to start driving your own destiny. Okay, and again, this this message goes out to my Pisces, especially my Pisces. You're really going to wake up from the delusion that you've been living in. You're really going to understand that what you thought really wasn't it. And what it is, is something that you don't want. Okay, so again, if you've been in love with this person and you've been putting them on a pedestal that, oh, they can't do anything wrong. They're so sweet. They're so kind. The universe is going to set up an opportunity for you to walk in on them and catch them red-handed where you are going to get the most disgustingest ick from them and you're never going to want to deal with them again. So good for you. I'm really happy that this is going to happen because I really feel that it's time for everyone to start moving towards their destiny. Most of, our, most of us are already moving towards our destinies, but now it's time for you guys to join in as well too. 
All right. So that's my message for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the ones that love you and the ones that don't love you. Get rid of them, please. All right. Mwah. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. You don't have to pay to hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. Hit the like, hit the like button, hit the notification button and leave some comments down at the bottom to let me know if this has been happening with you. All right, guys. I love you. See you next time.